Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. You're gonna notice some huge changes. Um, this this isn't my new character or anything for the rest of the thing. Um, so what I did was I was clearing out my folder for YouTube and making it more, uh, how would you put it, like organized? And I kind of screwed up and I accidentally deleted a folder with my Dark Souls 2 playthrough which had about four or five episodes in it and I managed to recover four but I couldn't recover this particular episode where I was going to go through Belfry Soul and um, finish up Iron Keep so I, I'm gonna bonfire ascetic in my PvP characters world Belfry Soul and go through it and so you guys will see everything that's supposed to be there and uh, so it, I'll, I'll still be able to show everything, but it's just going to be on New Game Plus Plus right now. <laughs> so everything's going to have immense amounts of HP, as you can see. This is actually really bad. I got two guys on me. I need to get rid of at least this one. There we go. Okay. Oh wait, she. Not what? How are you not dead? Get out of here. Thank you. <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah, you miss. These things suck. I still hate this place. I won't doubt it if I get in... I won't doubt it. I won't... I'm not a, like... I, I think I'm gonna get invaded. The first clip, <clears throat> I actually got invaded by two people at the same time. And so I got ganked, essentially, and I had to take care of that. And I thought that was gonna be so cool to include because I actually won the fight against two people and ow oh man this is not going well against a regular person regular NPC I mean cannot parry that I wish you wouldn't two hand your weapon ooh I'm still really I'm still really used to um parrying with a that was close I'm still used to parrying with like a or whatchamacallit, a uh, curved sword, because I think I was using that in my other playthrough. I'm also sick, so I'm sorry if I don't sound all that enthusiastic. So if you come around back here, there's Civilton Spice, and here's the bell that you have to ring in order to open the end part. The gate at the very end part lets you out of this place, because maybe it's because it's 2.56 in the morning and that's why nobody's playing. Hopefully I don't get invaded. <laughs> That'll be really nice. Alright, so I'm gonna try to lure one of them over. Uh, I'm keeping the cracked. Get out of here with your stupid triple crossbow avalon things. Ooh, what the fuck just happened to you? Look like Sonic the Hedgehog for a second there. Die. Good. Alright, good timing on this guy to come. Get out. Ooh, nice dodge, buddy. Not good enough, though. But, yeah. what? How did that miss? Come here. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry if I don't seem enthusiastic. I'm sick. It's the middle of the night. I got invaded by a blue. Are you serious? Damn it. You know, I wouldn't be as angry if it was, a. Uh, if it wasn't a normal person, like a, a dull bro. Why do you have to buff? Do you really have to buff and Sacred Oath me? Like, is it that important that you win? Oh great, and he's got a great magic barrier. I don't like you, dude. I'm not bowing to you, because you're a blue. God, that, he's using a Chaos Blade too. And I rolled, but it didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in no mood to PvP right now. Because, uh, for one thing, I haven't even played this game in like two weeks. And for another thing, I was already uh, kind of upset about losing the vial. I didn't even 
I was losing hope day by day and I was like I really don't want to have to do this place again because it's so frustrating but I was like whatever it's not a big deal ew I look gross <clears throat> uh, you probably don't have to worry about getting invaded by a blue my voice just cracked <laughs> because that only happens if you're a sinner in the game and I am a sinner because I invade people a lot and kill them. But I haven't touched this game in a while, so that hasn't been happening. My PvP skills are kind of doo-doo right now. And also I had a guy invade me with Chaos Blade with, um, like, Dark Weapon or something like that, which does insane amounts of damage. But some, I like, whenever I PvP, I enjoy the PvP. I don't just try to use a weapon that kills somebody in two or three hits. I try to use a weapon that requires a bit of skill. And, you know, I rely heavily on my dodge. My dodging skills and that kind of thing, which I, I did horribly. With... Wow, he got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> he got KO'd by... <laughs> <laughs> I've never used a great bow against these guys, but it feels so good. Did you like that? You little fucker. That's what you get. Ow, your little bow feels like a mosquito bite. How does mine feel, bitch? I gotta take care of this guy. Uh. Okay, he didn't roll, that's good. You can parry that. I don't know why I didn't. Um, I'm about to die, actually. Hang on. Who? <laughs> uh, my... Okay. The combination of all things that could be bad right now is happening. And Okay, I know for a fact you can't turn like that with a greatsword, but whatever. I guess NPCs can do whatever they want, can't they? <clears throat> this little fucker over here with a bow. Come here. You wanna get pancaked? I thought so. You wanna get pancaked again? <laughs> Just cause you deserve this. You deserve this, you little fuck. Awesome. Finally done. Drop some rusted coin. I think they almost always drop rusted coins. But a simpleton spice, and we're out of here. No more invading. Good deal. So upon leaving this place, you can grab this. It's immolation. And over here, there's a human effigy and some triclops snake troches. I think that improves your dark resist. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> and there's a secret wall right here with two chests that, um, I forgot iron chests don't get respawned. Uh, I actually, oh wait, a black knight greatsword is in one chest and then in the other chest there's something else. But that's it for Belfry Soul. Um, up down here. And now I'm gonna go through the rest of Iron Keep really quick. What the fuck was that? I got shot at, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm gonna dunk these guys. As I did previously. So, I can go up here. get rid of him because he's pissing me off get rid of him and last but not least get rid of this guy soul of brave warrior not bad okay so last time what happened was I got through that really can you not just leave me alone please here's a mimic like <laughs> trying to lightning winged armor and dark armor not armor uh, dark armor yes lightning winged spear is what I meant to say <clears throat> and then over here you can grab this destructive great arrows and, and this guy really wants to fight so I'm just gonna fight him <sighs> 
He's kind of stupid. And I get lag stabbed. Okay. My connection is probably not the best right now. And my backstab doesn't go through there, that's cool. I need to switch weapons actually. Um, to something else. Yeah, I can I can work with the net code too, buddy. I know how to backstab. I thought he was gonna use the same spell. I was gonna try to backstab him. Like I said, no mood. This is starting to piss me off, actually. Like, there's a reason I stopped playing Dark Souls 2. And it's mainly because of the PvP going to shit. You know, it's weird. I found out that the PC community for Dark Souls 2 online is even worse than that of console games. Which was kind of surprising to me, honestly. Um... I really don't want to have to go through Belfry Soul again. You know what, I'll... No, I don't. I don't want to. I'm just gonna go this way. Um, second bonfire here. I'm doing my best to contain my rage right now, guys. <laughs> like, I'm sick. It's 3 in the morning on a school night. Uh, the only reason I'm playing is because I decided to stay up all night because I screwed up my sleeping schedule so bad that I had to do it. I, I pull all-nighters to fix my sleeping schedule, which I don't know if that's really optimal, but I do it anyways. Um, so I do think that I actually... Um, I hope I don't get shot. Good. I think that actually... Bonfire Ascet Ascetic King? Bonfire Ascetic King, yeah. <laughs> the Bonfire for... what the fuck was that? Wow. Bonfire Ascetic King, the Bonfire for Belfry Soul, I think actually reset this area too. Which is weird. Uh, it seems like it anyways, it seems like everything is- Oh! Shit. That scared me. <laughs> oh no. Oh, never mind. I forgot. I'm already on New Game Plus, which means, um, my... You know what? Let's just use this, because I can. You have that much boys? Really? Uh-oh. He just punched me. Come on. There you go. I forgot I was already on New Game Plus, so I just made the game into New Game Plus 3 for Belfry Soul. But the rest of it's still gonna be New Game Plus, and I speedrun through the game on my second playthrough through New Game Plus. So, um, there should be a lot of items that are still here that I didn't even pick up because I, ne I didn't need to, for one thing, because I was just trying to get through the game as fast as possible. I'm about to get hit by a great bow, I think. Yep. <laughs> oh no. Good. He's aiming his bow, which means I can backstab him. Or just hit him. That, that works too. So this is one of my favorite weapons for PvE because it's really overpowered right now thanks to updates. It's called the Red Iron Twin Blade. I get it later in the playthrough and that's probably what I'm going to start using once I get it. This is the uh, Black Knight Great Axe. So I'm actually pretty happy I didn't go through and get everything on my, uh, my normal playthrough of this area. Otherwise, these items wouldn't be here unless I bonfire set it to that second bonfire and Iron Keep. I can't hold any more orbs, no! <laughs> My inventory is full. Um, there's a red phantom here. That's not cool. Okay, let me take care of him really quick. Yeah, I shot you in the face. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. <laughs> You're just gonna take it, aren't you? Yep. Alright. Same with this guy. I don't want to risk falling in the lava. God, the Red Phantom's HP is so high if you think about it. Like, that guy, the first shot took like three quarters of his health. On the Red Phantom, one shot from that Great Arrow took like a little over a third. There's a Covetous 
gold serpent ring there and you want to hop down and come through here so this is where it connects um, this is that fog wall from before that I activated but never went through you want to come down here <clears throat> and there should be a turtle guy yep hey turtle uh oh that was close man you're getting plus they have lots of health I should really be doing the normal attack. It does way more damage, but it's not letting me. <laughs> okay, after you kill him, you can pull up this guillotine. <clears throat> What's up? It's good. But, I hate to ask you to be quiet because it's our room, <laughs> but I, I am recording. <laughs> like, you can be in here, I don't care. Nah, that's cool. I just, I paused the recording, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I didn't even... I don't even want to do this recording, but I have to. Because I accidentally deleted the old file. So I'm redoing it. <clears throat> Back to it. Talking to myself, yeah. <laughs> and there's another turtle thing over here, so... Just... Same thing. These guys have way too much health on New Game Plus. It's ridiculous. Nope. Good. I already turned off the fire, but there is usually fire right here. And uh, you can't get this item until you turn it off. But to turn it off, all you gotta do is climb all the way up these long ass ladders. These long ass ladders. Oh shit, I forgot about you. <laughs> I forget. I don't think you can actually um, backstab ironclad armor. So I'm not even gonna try it. Oh, he dodged. I swear the NPCs are actually kind of smart in this game. Yeah, they're pretty smart. Okay, I can't take too many risks here. Come on. Okay. Good, that, that went well. Oh my god. Stop, stop, good. Die, thank you. <laughs> so since I am in college now, my roommate, uh, he actually just came in. There might be like a a slight chip in the video where I had to cut it out because he walked in and started talking to me because he didn't know I was recording. That was kind of funny. But this is how you turn off the fire. You just pull this lever and it turns it off and there's a bonfire here, which I have already bonfire acidic. So now the boss is going to respawn. So I can show you guys the boss fight. <clears throat> Going down this ladder here. Oh, and I rested at the bonfire. No. Oh, it doesn't matter. This is the only thing you have to worry about here. And I'm not even going to worry about him. They have way too much health for me to deal with right now. So, now I'm going to be fighting this boss on New Game Plus 3. So keep that in mind when you're considering how much health this guy has. Big old Iron King. It's funny because um, it might even be a good thing that my old file got deleted because my sister, when I was at home, walked in my room and started talking to me and asking me a bunch of questions during this cutscene. And so I couldn't, I couldn't cut the audio because before this, 
uh, I just started using Audacity to record my voice and separating the voice um, audio from the game audio so that I could adjust them individually. And so let me know how that sounds. I'm going to be trying to like adjust my voice to be a little bit louder. He has so much health, Jesus Christ. So he has two main, not two main attacks, but he has that attack, or like an arm sweep. If he uses his left arm, he'll arm sweep into a slam, and then he'll keep his arm down long enough for you to hit him a bunch of times. And sometimes he'll just do an overhead slam with his right arm as well. And both times, whenever he does an arm slam, I'm actually getting really good RNG, and by RNG I mean random number generator, which determines what attack he's going to do. So, so far he's only done his melee attacks, which is really nice. And now he's about to do a big slam attack, which I rolled straight into like an idiot. <laughs> That's okay though. And a lot, like, he just has really huge cooldown time between attacks, so it's pretty easy to, um... Oh yeah, there's also that. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> there's, it seems like there's like a, uh... Uh-oh, there's a follow-up. Oh man, that was close. So he has a follow-up attack. Now you know, just as I do. <laughs> he also has a fire breathing attack. He has not done a single time. He usually ends up doing that all the time, which gets really old. But now he's dead. And he also has a laser hand attack where he'll shoot like a fire lava laser out of his hand. But he didn't do either of those. So when you're playing on new game, you'll only get the old Iron King soul. If you're on New Game Plus and above, you'll get the old King Soul as well. And then there's the Primal Bonfire, and regardless of whether you have the DLC or not, um, you'll open this area up, which is an area to the second DLC, the Crown of the Old Iron King. If it's the area, of course. And so if you rested this bonfire, and like I said before, I'll probably go through the uh, DLCs um, once... I think I said I was going to go through them blind, but as a matter of fact, I've already gone through the first DLC on my own, um, and so it'll be better, honestly, because that I got lost so many times and died so many times to stupid things, and I was getting so frustrated because I didn't know what to do. Like It would have been hours and hours of recording and editing, so it'll probably be a lot easier for both of us, the viewer and me, recording and editing, if I go ahead and do the DLCs first and then upload them um, once I know what to do, and I can, it'll be consistent with the rest of the episodes of my Dark Souls 2 playthrough where I actually know what's going on, most of the time anyways. So this came out to be kind of a long episode, but that's okay, um, it was my mistake for accidentally deleting the file, so no big deal there. Um, I'll make sure never to do that again, I finally organized my YouTube stuff so I never have to try to rearrange anything ever again until I get an external hard drive and now I know what not to do. Um, so thank you guys for watching, um, I hope you like my PvP character, she's pretty interesting. Uh, I never used a female character avatar before in this game so I decided to make a female character. Um, she's actually level 221 with 50 vigor, 44 endurance, 43 vitality, 10 attunement, 45 strength, 45 dex, 27 adaptability, and 5 and 5 and int and faith because I'm strictly a melee character. And uh, my build is usually the Chaos Blade because I love it ever since Dark Souls 1, a dagger for successful parries, and a long great bow for gankers. Uh, Shield of the Insolent plus 10 because it has a, uh, it has a pretty quick parry animation, which is essential online because the lag and latency is so bad that if you don't have a fast parry it'll be really hard to parry anyways and the pyromancy flame for warmth just in case gankers again so um i don't play at the meta the whole 150 meta i think it's a stupid idea because once you get to the the soul memory that I'm at, what am I at? 10,284,000? Um, my previous PvP character on Xbox had like 21 million, and by then, once you hit the 15 million tier, you end up fighting people that are level 300, 400, um, regardless of your level, so there's really no point staying at 150, you're just gonna hurt yourself by doing that. It'll take the fun out of the game completely. I mean, not that this PvP is fun at all anyways, it's already like, it's trash, it's garbage compared to Dark Souls 1 in my opinion. 
butt, and uh, Ring of Blades plus two, Cloranthe Ring plus two, Third Dragon Ring, and Ring of Steel Protection plus two, because, um, as you can see, I went for the Fashion Souls look instead of the uh, Efficiency. So, got Executioner Leggings, Tables Gauntlets, Bone King Robe, and a Thief Mask. So she's just the default character. I didn't feel like messing with the face, but I mean, it looks alright to me. <laughs> I've covered up with a mask anyways. The only thing I changed was the hair and the eye color. But again, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I kind of rambled towards the end. It was probably really boring commentary too. I'll try to edit out bits uh, or maybe, you know, edit in those funny pictures to make it more entertaining because I just, um, I don't know. I guess I wasn't really feeling the recording session and being sick and in the middle of the night kind of got to me, I think. And also this game kind of pissed me off around the middle of this recording with the invasions. That was getting really annoying. So any anyways, um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.